Welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacy Kumagai, your linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. How you doing, lovely souls? Are you hanging in there? How you doing? How you feeling? I hope that you're staying healthy and safe, and you're staying in balance, staying strong, toughing it out. We're still in this, we're still in this, and we're in this together. So today I wanted to come to you, not only from being called upon the collective to do a video, but several of you who jumped in my inbox to pretty much say the same thing in different ways of really needing this video. And you're probably wondering, well, what is it, Stacy? What are we gonna be talking about today? We're gonna to be talking about the link of fulfillment. The link of fulfillment. And it's a necessary link to talk about right now. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Today's discussion is going to be a little bit hippy dippy trippy because we're going to be talking about the 3D, the 5D, the 4D, in between the two realms of the 3D and the 5D, and the energy compression of what's happening now, present moment, what's happening now. And I'm doing this for clarity's sake so all of you understand that what you're experiencing right now in the energy, you're all, we're all in this and it's normal, it's happening. You're not crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy even though you may be feeling stir crazy in quarantine, this is all happening. It's all happening right now. So let me break, let, let me break it down for you um, as we discuss it in real tangible pedestrian terms, as you know that I love to do, so that you can understand it. Because what happens when we understand something? When we understand it, we have clarity. When we have clarity, it helps us dive deeper into our truth. When we have truth, that's all there is. And we can then work with the energies instead of working against the energies. You with me? You clear? So anyway, I hope that uh, this fulfillment video will bring you much of that clarity and truth and help you navigate this new energy that we're working with. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's going on right now. I know for a lot of you, who wrote in, you are feeling like a combination of stagnant complacency, stuckness, along with higher self knowing optimism and truth, but not knowing what to do with this energy. Simply because we are living in a life in quarantine right now. And that's challenging. That's challenging, and it's even more challenging from a lot of the feedback that I got from a lot of you because we are dealing with 3D, 4D, and 5D. So that's what we're going to talk about today in a three-column exercise, which is going to help you really understand once you exercise it from your soul, out of your human, onto paper, looking at it, confronting it head-on, and we're going to tackle this as best as we can. So let's uh, deal with the 3D first. It's a great place to start because we're all human, <laughs> living this human experience in the 3D earthly plane. What does fulfillment mean to you as a human in the 3D earthly plane in a life pre-COVID? Column one. We're going to be putting it in column one. What does life mean to you? In terms of fulfillment in your life pre-COVID, what did that look like? List what your definition of fulfillment as much as you can. What did it look like? What did that fulfillment look like to you? Then we're going to take this a step further in column one, like column 1B. Column 1B is going to be addressing how you defined that fulfillment in a life pre-COVID, and if it was really yours. Yeah. Was it really yours? Was it really yours? Or did you adopt your principles, values, and value system from your ancestry, your lineage, your family? Whoa, I know, right? Did you get it from society, your community? Or did you actually define it for yourself? I know, it's a lot, but trust me, you're gonna love this, how we're gonna end this. 
Okay, so column one, how you define fulfillment and then really getting real with yourself, 1B. Did somebody else define it for you? Did you carry it on from your family, your grandparents, your parents? What you were told? School teachers, maybe? Like, who defined this idea of fulfillment for you? Like, did your math teacher tell you that if you did XYZ, you'd be fulfilled in a career being XYZ as a human? Because your math teacher told you, oh, you were good, and so A+, plus, blah, blah, blah. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how it all links there? How we define that? How do we define it in a life pre-COVID? Column two. That's just an example, by the way. But you get the picture. You apply it how it applies to you, okay? Column two. In quarantine now, present day moment. Dealing with your emotions. Let's talk about your emotions. Let's talk about, let's talk about our feelings. <laughs> let's talk about our feelings. Because that's why you guys wrote in. That's why I felt energy from the collective. Defining fulfillment in your feelings now in a quarantine. With regard to that column one list. All your visions, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, your bucket list, your wish list of things to do as a human in this incarnation on 3D earthly plane. Emotions now attached to it in the reality of COVID. The reality of the pandemic. What are your feelings about that list now? Really be honest with yourself about this. I know for a lot of you who lost your jobs or were furloughed or lost your businesses or are presently still in limbo flux based on opening, reopening, closing, whatever, okay? You guys are all feeling a lot of different things. What we're going to be doing in addressing these emotions that you are feeling in quarantine to the life to the the life fulfillment definition either by you or your ancestors or whatever community influence one column one column two emotions we're going to be looking at this from a really broad spectrum and yet narrow at the same time and i know that sounds like oxymoronic but like it's trust me it, it's happening to you right now and i'll explain in a minute looking at your emotions or you, maybe you're grieving work that you can't do because you defined yourself by the work that you did do. Think about that for a moment. How much pride and effort and of your identity you put into the work that you did, whether it's a good day's work, hard day's work, blood, sweat, and tears, whatever it is you invested, okay? Or even if you were working toward a dream, that dream vacation or that dream whatever, okay? In call to that, those emo the emotional state that you're feeling right now in quarantine, as it attaches to your idea and definition of fulfillment. Let's talk about that. I know for a lot of you who, you know, built your store, built your business, built your whatever it is, a lot of you are feeling a lot of grief. It's real emotion. Because for many of you, you felt it was for naught. And the same thing with you dreamers. Dreamers and realists, both. You felt it was for naught now because the life now, the new normal as we know it, because we know we're not going back to that list. That's it's a lot to process. Especially if you put your, your, your personal worth within the pride of the work that you were doing. You're allowed to feel your grief. You're allowed to feel your feelings, but you need to get honest with what that is. Is it a loss of self, a loss of labor, a loss of heart? What is it for you? What is that emotion? Was that the end all be all? Do you feel like it was wasted? The reason why I'm bringing these questions up for you now is you're really trying to excavate for column two. It's because I want you to realize something. It wasn't for naught. Whether you have a brick and mortar that doesn't exist anymore, whether you have a job role, title, whatever, that you wrote, climbed the ladder, doesn't exist anymore, or an industry profession that you're passionate about that doesn't exist anymore, just because it doesn't exist, it doesn't mean what you left behind doesn't still exist. Yeah. Why do I say that? 
the human labor you executed was not for naught. It was done. It was something tangible that was executed. The soul's imprint, however, lovely souls, it's infinite. I'm going to keep doing this infinity sign. <laughs> it is. It's infinite. Why do I say that? I say that because you have absolutely no idea just how many lives you affected with the work that you did. And it doesn't matter what your role was. If you gave someone the sense of safety and security, you did your job. If you gave someone a wonderful experience on a trip, whether it be vacation or in dining or whatever, memory was made. If you made someone stay with a smile, even in your everyday role of what you do, you left an imprint. The imprints you leave carry on beyond this pandemic. They go with the souls of the lives you've affected forever, infinitely. So I wanted to say this to you, lovely souls, just so you could digest exactly how valuable that is, how meaningful that is. None of your efforts were wasted. If you changed one life, you did your job and it's now imprinted forever in the person that took that experience, even reflecting on back say a business that doesn't exist. Remember when we used to go to XYZ place or XYZ, we bought this product or service from XYZ, the company may not exist anymore, the role may not exist, but do you see what I'm saying? Like even that in someone's memory bank, because it was a stepping stone to something else for them, maybe they were on the way to your place of business to pick up a product or service from wherever you worked or maybe your own business, and on the way to some historic family milestone within their life's journey. See what I mean? Your imprint is on that path. Your imprint, what you did. They couldn't have had the same experience unless you were there. Whether you conceived of an idea, executed an idea, performed a task. Because of you. You created an imprint. So. Column one fulfillment, okay, maybe you attached your identity ego, human ego, to said whatever, pre-COVID. In quarantine right now, that role, whatever, is gone. Doesn't mean the impact is gone. It's, it's there. It's there and it lives forever. So I wanted to say that to you as you're looking at your emotions. I haven't, I haven't deviated from the exercise, but I wanted to bring that to you because it... It matters. It matters here. It matters here. It matters here. It matters here. Right? <laughs> In your truth. Speaking the truth. Okay, so column one. <sighs> Definition of fulfillment pre COVID. Column two. Emotions attached to said. Column one. Column three. The blank slate. The ball of clay still needing to be molded yourself, which you defined as fulfillment in column two, as you reconcile your emotions in column, uh, column two, column one, column two, build the bridge, column three, how has it changed? I ask you this because in the 3D earthly plane our world has changed, right? But in the 5D earthly plane, the purpose still is the same, it exists. Where your human is having an issue with it is in the 40, can you see this in my camera? But 40, where your brain's spinning, overthinking, brain spinning, overthinking, brain spinning, overthinking, because you're stuck in this timeline here of holding on to your old past here and what your higher self, higher level, next level awareness consciousness here understands. If we look at this pandemic for purpose, okay, to shake 
up the world to change it. Because things are changing regardless of we, if we have life, major events or not. Every day is changed. Change, change is inevitable. We know this, right? We've digested this. Both of our human, our human understands it, our soul understands it, our human and soul in, in union understand it. If we look at the reality of our transformational change that we talked about in some of the chakra exercises and embrace said change and we look at column three as to what's still doable, feasible, self-actualized, possible. We now see we've just shifted it. It doesn't mean it's eliminated. We just shift it. We use our agility to shift it. What do I mean by that? You know you're not the same person as you were pre-pandemic. You know in a life currently in quarantine and living with COVID and after COVID, your dreams, goals, aspirations, bucket lists, human 3D idea of fulfillment can still be fulfilled, column three, when you understand the emotions in column two, and see more importantly how these emotions were supposed to shift so you can materialize it in the 3D plane in your new normal, in your new world 2.0, higher consciousness elevated awareness self with the new knowledge that you have. Because we were not supposed to take the old attachment just for human satisfaction. We're now tweaking it for soul satisfaction. So I'm going to ask you this as a journal prompt for column three. What does your new life look like now and how do you define fulfillment now based on all you've learned in quarantine? Do you know? Has things shifted in your mind and in your heart of what matters now? I ask you this for purpose because as I was talking about how the soul is infinite, we know that the human has a finite amount of time, right? This human f vessel, flesh, cargo, whatever, <laughs> doesn't last forever. The soul does, but the human doesn't. So I'm going to ask you what you want in your human experience. What do you want to have happen? What do you want to materialize? What do you want to actualize in the 3D earthly plane from your 5D higher self-awareness consciousness, which you've been wrestling with in the 4D is like, oh my God, COVID, I'm not COVID, oh, can I do this? Okay, how are you going to look at column three now and go, ah, action actualized and fulfillment reevaluated in your realization? As humanity, and we were, as we were being asked to rise in this quarantine, we were being shown a different altered perception as to how we define fulfillment for ourselves, by ourselves, for ourselves, not based on the one, column 1B of how others define it for you. Society can't dictate to you what that is. Your Historic ancestry family lineage lineage can't define that for you. This is your journey now. Yeah. We learned in pandemic as humans had to die alone, okay? Without the one B column around. What you leave here with is what you define for yourself. So if you have regrets for not Taking column one, bridging to column two, reconciling your emotions, taking it to column three into action, that's what, if, if they're not 
actualize, that's when they turn into regrets, when, when our human vessel leaves the 3D and we're here in the 5D. And I'm bringing this to your attention so you can have quality of living now. Quality of living now matters more than ever before. Your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, your spirit, your human soul connection, unification understands that nothing's quite the same. Not just here, but even how you're thinking and feeling right now. How you're processing your life journey. Like we're in a twilight zone right now, right? It feels like it. Like we're in a completely different altered paradigm right now. So as you're working through this energy beyond the retrograde and the eclipses and the pressure cooker of energy, ch -ch -ch, make a decision, make a decision, make a decision, make a decision. The ultimate decision lies within your truth still. That part hasn't changed. It may have been refined during quarantine, but your truth is still your truth. And that's something I want to bring your attention to, to remember so you don't sit in this 40 going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Because I know a lot of you who wrote in, say you are panicking, you're feeling anxiety for the road that you can't see. But I've got news for you. When you were a child and born and pure and brought into this earth, you couldn't see the road then either. Heck, you couldn't even drive. <laughs> right? You couldn't even drive. You couldn't see the road. So how is it different now? Other than the clock for the human, which is real, even though in, for the, the clock for the soul is not, but for, even for the clock for the human is real, how has that really changed? It hasn't. So I wanted to kind of bring this enlightenment to you so you don't struggle anymore, so you don't sabotage yourself, so you don't fight with yourself, so you don't have this oil and water um, battle within. It's not necessary. You have other things to do. <laughs> you have other things to do. And more fulfillment to define and redefine for yourself as you enter your next chapter. I'm Stacey Kumagari, Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Linkronicity, blogspot.com, and go to linkronicity.com if you want me to help you on your individual pathway journey to redefine fulfillment and what it means to you and help you excavate that even further. For the main collective here, if you want to take this to the next level, Club 33 at patreon.com forward slash synchronicity will take you to the next level. For those who join Club 5555, we're taking it up two notches. We're going to take it up two levels uh, to dive deeper. Why are we diving deeper? Because you've ascended a few levels higher. And so that's what we're going to do to help you excavate that further, get more in touch with your soul, knowing soul desires to live your best life right now because life is short and we've got to live it the best way that we can with the fulfillment fully in place as we redefine and recraft our next chapter hope you have a lovely day lovely souls i send you light love blessings peace strength support all my love and I hope you're gentle with yourself, gentle with each other, and take on the day into your new fulfillment.